better gift from the movie Gods can I get than this movie to begin my vacation? After the trailer, you know, I was one of the few people that held out hope for this movie. While I didn't think it looked amazing, I thought it looked decent at best, you know, it just looked like a really boring, unoriginal movie, but unlike people who dismissed this as random anim animated crap, I kind of dug into it, I was holding out hope, and I was like, it could be very good. And after the reviews came in, at standing in 100% for like a week, and now it's basically... I think at like a 97%, which is an amazing score for this movie, I was super psyched. Our DreamWorks Animation Studio has a so-so record with me. Um, I think as far as it goes, they've had some great, like Shrek and Shrek 2 and even Kung Fu Panda. They've had some okay, like Madagascar and Monsters vs. Aliens, and the not-so-good, like Madagascar 2 and Shrek the 3rd. Where does this movie fall? Definitely, definitely in the great. Now, starting at the beginning, I, you know, I heard so many great things. I feel like the first 15 minutes kind of disappointed me because it's like the same things I saw in the trailer, which I didn't really like. I really like the style and editing of it. Um, the animation, which I was worried about, I think hold through because it created the world very nicely. While it's not the most artistic of things, I think the rough edginess of it worked perfectly with the Viking atmosphere of it all. Um, next to the fact that I do, I just really didn't um, dig the first 20 minutes. I mean, it's it was a bit slow, but I think after that it really took off and was just amazing after that. While the story, it's not terribly original, and there's a lot of cliche moments, uh, they are exceeded by a lot of charm and occasional uh, dramatic wit. Uh, moving on to something that I heard a lot about was, as I said, the uh, dramatic and emotional side to this movie that said it um, was more um, towards that rather than the comedy side or an aspect that I expected it to take and that's what I loved about that movie because I love when animated movies um, like up go into a more emotional deep side and I don't well I don't think this movie does it quite as well as uh, the Pixar movies do um, I really do love the way they do it here. It's fantastically done, and, you know, while I expected uh, the emotional depth to it to be cliche and boring, it was very true and sincere and very genuine, just like the, there was a lot of genuine humor in there. I really liked the way they meshed the two together. Um, while at times they worked very well together and they complement each other very nicely with the comedy and drama, I feel like the relationship between Gerard Butler and his son, Hiccup, played by Jay Rochelle, um, who both do fantastic jobs, uh, is very a very great story, which I didn't think would work out that well, but they definitely, definitely extended and developed to the point by the end where you really care about the two characters and their relationship with each other. Voice acting all around is fantastic. Fantastic. Um, Jonah Hill, I mean, I really didn't expect him to be that good. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff they give him to uh, use isn't fantastic, but he is pretty funny here. Uh, Craig Ferguson, who plays, you know, his kind of mentor and the dragon trainer, uh, his, he does a fantastic job. I really loved his character. Um, America Ferreira, yet again, um, I don't really like her, but I think she did a very good job here. Uh, I also liked her relationship between um, her character and Hiccup. Um, I, I really just, uh, I love the relationship, especially love the relationship between Hiccup and the dragon. I thought that was developed beautifully in a montage scene that I thought was fantastically done. And those, the relationships between all the characters is probably one of the best points of this movie because they're developed out so well that you really do care about each individual one and each individual character. Um, Kristen Wiig also is in here and I always love her and TJ Mil Miller who plays her um, her brother, and I just thought that that was um, another funny couple, too. Um, the other person, I don't know why, I just couldn't think of his name, and it's Christopher Mintz Plassey, you know, everybody knows him, McGlovin. Um, you know, like, of course I know who he is, all of his roles, but, like, honestly, when I heard his voice, like, I knew it, it's such an iconic voice, you know, after role models and everything, but I just... I, I was trying to guess him the entire movie, and I just couldn't put his face with it, and then I looked it up, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. To my only complaint I have left, there was really only three, um, which is some dialogue problems. While I, I didn't think it was horrible, a lot of it is delivered really well, but I just feel like some parts just feel a little over the top, yeah, while I do realize that it is a um, kids movie, but I, I, I was very forgiving there. 
because there were a couple points where I felt like there was um, uh, some just out of place or um, really overwritten dialogue, and it just really didn't work with some of the other emotional depth in the movie. But it is exceeded, as I said, by its charm and the beautiful deliverance from... But as I said, it is exceeded by the uh, beautiful delivery by the voice actors, and it's just total overall charm. Uh, so that's why this movie is awesome. It also has a very, very awesome um, climax, including a giant dragon. And I just thought that uh, I didn't really think it work with the rest of the film, but they did it to perfection. Every flaw I thought this movie would make, it just turns it around and slapped me in the face. And um, I'm really, I'm so happy that I did get invested in this movie because um, I really think everybody should see this movie. I know, I know people would have doubts about this because the movie didn't look all that great. But I mean, check Rotten Tomatoes. Check anybody who's seen it. They will tell you that it is awesome. This movie is freaking awesome. Um, <sighs> dare I say it, but it's my favorite DreamWorks movie. Brandon, better than Shrek? Yes. Better than Shrek. Oh my god, I need to see this movie! So yes, this is my favorite DreamWorks movie. Yes, it, it's either my favorite or my second favorite. So anyway, you spin it, this movie is awesome, go see it, definitely check it out. 9.5 out of 10, I don't think it's quite a 10 out of 10. Might need to re-see it, but 9.5. The bad part about tonight was that one of my friends who was super stoked to see this movie could not make it. For reasons probably best not mentioned on camera.